Hello there everyone and uh, welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. So I've gone ahead and I've restarted it and I've done it on the highest difficulty this time around rather than doing it on uh, hard. I'm doing now on very hard and I've replayed it uh, more or less precisely as before. There's some changes like the fact that I wasn't able to, I forgot to do the trade in the beginning but somehow I was able to um, fix that but I, by actually setting up other trade agreements with Sicily um, and a number of other uh, places in um, in uh, I Italy. So we sort of... It seemed to have um, averaged out, so that's good. And then I moved and took Innsbruck just as before. And we now stand ready here to surround Karl Makwun Librisch as we did for the last one. I don't think Napoleon will be able to reach... Oh, he actually did. Right. Well, anyways then, we have quite a clear advantage here where we have about 3,000-something men. Almost, yeah, almost 3,000 men. Compared with his 1500s, we it it outnumber him two to one. We got a lot more cannons and a lot more stuff, and we got the old guard with us and uh, a number of other interesting Mameluk guard. Uh, and yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and start it. Oh yeah, and if you probably saw that right there, that my spy survived in this uh, playthrough as well because he, instead of being caught. Uh, he just failed at um, finding out what troops they had. So he's still alive. Uh, did I do anything different? Yes. I also spent the money on other stuff. So we're not currently building a fort in Hanover. And uh, part of my navy has done... Uh, have been able to move a lot further in on the Austrian navy. Which we're trying to uh, find out here. And here we've got the uh, enemy grandsons. I'm surprised to find that they've all got strange, like, Fu Manchu mustaches. Interesting, maybe. And we've got some artillery here. Some guard artillery. Part of the... I'm surprised, though, that this they only have... Three, these guys have three guns, but the other ones I've used have two guns. I'm not entirely sure what, why they have so few guns, all of these uh, batteries. Maybe there is one that you can buy that has a higher amount of guns. Here we got a smaller unit of uh, sappers. And we're going to put we're gonna put one of these next to the artillery. And then I'll probably move out and uh, put down some stakes as well, because that's something they can do. Uh, we got the Chasseur à Cheval Guard, um, which is another guard regiment. Napoleon has a lot of guard regiments, so start off with a lot of them. Uh, then we got the Bardishan Infantry. We're going to put the Bardishan Infantry, both of them, 4th Grenadiers and the 14th Line Infantry. We're going to put them both on this side, marching up towards the forest. Uh, then we got two units of veteran uh, line infantry. We're going to put them on this side. And they're going to be screened by this unit of uh, uh, chasseur of the young guard. Uh, that's why they got so such fancy hats. So they will uh, uh, go ahead and do that. And then we'll have the um, the old guard back here as uh, reserves and then we've got the um, wait what's the difference between these are the grenadiers and these are the chasseurs of the old god okay chasseurs and then we have Napoleon himself just gonna put right here and you can see he's got the the chasseur, the same kind of uniform as the uh, chasseur there, and he's wearing his green uniform. 
which uh, he used because he he wanted to he liked his guard so much that he he chose to wear the same uniform as them and then we got the mamluks which followed him from his campaign in egypt then we got the grenadier horse guards regiment so lots and lots of guards in this one guard artillery guard everything right but without further ado, let's go ahead and start this, shall we? And we're going to get reinforcements as well. Let's have the Bardish and troops advance on the forest. Then the sappers will move forward. They will uh, put down stakes somewhere. And we'll have the uh, light infantry move up with the two regiments of uh, veteran fusiliers. Murat and his cavalry is coming up uh, behind Napoleon. We got the guard um, uh, Chasseur Cheval, and we got Murat coming up here with more cavalry. We've got what's this? This is a Carbina Regiment, Francis Carbiniers Regiment something something I'm butchering all of this all of these pronunciations but uh, and then we've got Kwasiers coming up we're just gonna line them up there and then we've got Dragoons we also have Davo coming in with his troops behind the Austrians let's make sure that Davo doesn't march straight into the enemy let's see has the um, here comes the Dragoons So that's all of Murat's troops, he's only carrying cavalry. So then we'll have, uh, what do we have here? First regiment of um, Chasseur à Cheval, it's also a guard regiment. I thought these guys, the other guys were the first ones. Weren't they called the first ones? No, they're not actually called the first one, they're just called Chasseur à, che à Cheval de la Garde. And I bet the the boy is gonna get he's gonna get artillery. So we're gonna have a cavalry unit and artillery unit coming up behind the Austrians. We're meeting with the Austrians here in the forest. Let's have the fourth guard hold, and then the fourteenth will turn to face the enemy. And this is uh, the first regiment, first infantry regiment, Kaiser Franz the second. Regiment, so I'm guessing this is a guard regiment, possibly. Uh, let's see. Nice looking. At the same time, I've uh, marched way up ahead here. And we're gonna have these actually go on the sides of the the chasseur regiment. So the guard chasseurs are opening fire on the grenzes. And they're also getting hit by artillery. I'm pretty sure these guys will fall pretty quickly. The first regiment over here is marching all over the place. It doesn't look that much of a guard regiment, so I might be mistaken in calling it a guard regiment. It might be just the fact that it is... Um, we've got another regiment over here. Deutschmeister. I like the moustaches. Good looking moustaches. Uh, the enemy was driven out of the forest, even though they barely lost anyone. But we're gonna march up a bit to um, see if we can fight again. Let's see if we can have the um, chasseurs come up, fire once, and then we can redraw them. And let's have the uh, sappers move up as well. There's no point really in putting down the stakes back here because I, I doubt the enemy is going to get that far. We got all our cavalry lined up over there. I could probably just smash the Austrians quite quickly, just charging in all the bloody cavalry. The Grenzers are pushed back. The Chasseur Cheval is coming up. 
Ready yourself and fire on the enemy. Before they fire at you, if you please. Come on, fire then. They are turning to fire. Boom, they fired. But we probably lost more men than we killed by that. But it gave these guys a bit, so they were able to form in the flank of the Austrians. Austrians unsure of what they're supposed to do. The artillery has moved ahead here. Uh, enemy concentrating their um, heavy cavalry and the cannons here and the general. Not entirely sure where to put this artillery because we've got a forest right here. Um, let's put it down right here and have it switch to canister so if the enemy comes close we can smash them. Um, which might be in case this cavalry comes. I don't think we're going to move. We're hoping that the enemy is not going to notice this until the very end. So we're just going to keep these guys here. Hoping that the enemy does not sort of act upon them. We're going to have to s move this line a bit. And this one's going to have to come up. Because I'm thinking these guys are actually trying to follow these guys. At the same time, the Grenzers are back. So we're going to move up our troops to face them. At the same time, this one will go up and face that one. And we'll see if we can get the sappers in between. And if we can set up... Um oh, crap. Are they going for the cavalry now? Can we get canister coming in from the flank? They're going to just smash all of this. If they continue over here. See if they... We might just sh shoot our entire unit to pieces. If they're going to... We'll see how this goes. I'm hoping that this cannon is the only one that fires. Because otherwise, this one will just take out that crew. Same with this one. So we're hoping that only this one fires. Wow! And we took out a few of them. Okay, we're gonna have to fight them now. Hopefully, the fact that we got the general close by is gonna help. And that this artillery piece is gonna be able to put some canister into the side here to uh, weaken the unit to force them to flee. Uh, at the same time, the Jan... Where? What? Where? Here! Crap. The enemy managed to pull off a charge while I wasn't looking. The Deutschmeisters! Damn it! Damn those Deutschmeisters! Open artillery on them! Have the sh uh, sappers move back and then uh, prepare to attack the enemy. Turn the uh, the chasseurs and then the veterans will continue and pursue the enemy over there. Okay, no, hold your fire, hold your fire, You're firing in on your own. Right, we have destroyed the enemy unit, which means that we can move on the cannons. And now the artillery will just fire at will. Right, so that was silly, the fact that we lost these guys. Or had them flee. So now the sappers and the um, the chasseurs are gonna have to fight these guys. I'm pretty sure these guys will come back if we don't chase them. Let's see if we can fire a bit on them. But I really want someone to turn in here. These guys lost a lot of men. Let's get them back into the action. We still have probably the most... Um ah, look at this. The enemy comes into our flank, so the Badish and Grenadiers are in trouble. Here we got proper... 
Austrian um, battalion. It's a grenadier battalion. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. And there we got the general moving in. So on this side, they're actually doing pretty well. Right. Murat, move your cavalry over there and see if we can smash the enemy. We're able to push this ba these guys back. It looks as though they're being pushed back. At the same time, these guys... They have fired once and the entire unit has fired once and they only killed one man. Okay, now they killed a bit, a few more. Go ahead and charge them. And then we can get them off this unit. And then these will turn victory, to face He's this side. To How about the Grenadiers? Grenadier Guard Regiment will move up. And then you will chase down the uh, Grenzers, chase after them. How about we have these guys actually targeting the most... Uh, the unit that we want to defeat, which probably is the backbone of their army, which is the Grenadier Battalion. And then we're going to see about having Murat and his cavalry. Um, didn't I send all of them? Where's the... Um, not the Mamluks. The Carbiniers, we've got them. We're going to have a lot of cavalry just storming the Austrians pretty soon. And then Murat to overlook the situation. He's the one that wears such a... Uh, a funny uniform in... Um, in Le Gile. Or not funny, but I think it's the ugliest uniform. He's got that white one. I imagine that this is supposed to be Murat. Uh, or maybe this guy. Oh no, I think it's this one. It's hard to tell. Oh, their general has been killed. Probably by a cannibal. And the enemy is going around our force here. In a very... In a very interesting maneuver, they ended up behind the Bardish and Grenadiers. Which is gonna have to be fall back into the forest. But I do not yet want to commit the old guard. Right, right. Have the grenadiers for my line li as such. Right, let's have the cavalry charge off then, shall we? Forward the cavalry! Normally I wouldn't tell you it's a good idea to charge straight ahead, but in this case we've got a lot of heavy cavalry coming in. Got so much bloody cavalry coming in. The Ersors, Ersors, Karl, and they were defeated. Right, let's have the cavalry continue their rampage by going after the grenadiers, and let's have these two charge in to fight the grenadiers as well. Look at all that cavalry moving around. Hundreds of horses and men at the same time as the Bardish and infantry and grenadiers are charged again on the Austrian grenadier battalion. 
And they're getting fired upon in from the back. The Grenadier Battalion has been broken. Now only one um, unit remains and of course it is the Dude Meisters that remain. Only the Dude Meisters remain. And the cavalry is oncoming to break them. So much cavalry and so many men charging throughout this. We're gonna chase them for a bit since we want to make sure that this force is broken. And then these men will move off because we don't want them to firing on our own men. And I think that's enough. Let's go ahead and end the battle. Close victory. As defensive technology moves swiftly forward, many cannons lack the blah blah blah. We lost 400 men. So we lost more uh, than we did attacking the Tyrol region. Um, so that might be due to... It might be due to the fact that they, they actually had a proper general. And the fact that I improved the difficulty. But Napoleon stands victorious. And we actually have the possibility here of uh, Louis Davout to uh, finalize the defeat of the Austrians and completely crushing them. They, they even put another general in there. That's unfortunate for him. Because now they're gone. And Napoleon and his armies, his army groups, surrounded the enemy and destroyed them and as well we pushed through here. Now I have my you know what, we probably should have Marshal Ney march down, meet up with Messina, and they can do a joint attack on Venice and take that. While Napoleon and these army groups, Murat and uh, Davo, moves to attack Prague. Right, I don't think I have any more movements to make. Yes, th this is one of the things I made, so now the navy is up here. Uh, and I'm also recruiting some uh, more um, uh, trade ships. And you know what? That's about it. So let's go ahead and end turn. Oh, he almost made it. We got one single Austrian dude turning up. No! One of the navy and one of the ports that I did not protect. And the English move in on it. The thing is there's so many ports, so I don't understand why they don't just reroute the trade. Say that it would take a few turns, but that then the trade would be rerouted from... Because I have a lot of other open ports, and usually you see this, like, the trade going from, um, say, Turkey. It doesn't go to the closest uh, port, it just it goes to, like, a port from here, so... or there. Where we get uh, Portugal. That, well, that's understandable. But say the trade that, that we get from... Maybe this trade is actually going to this place. Yes, it might. Yeah, so it is actually. But sometimes we got a trade that's going through here. That's going along this route. And um, that's going all the way up here and to these ports. Which is a bit silly. We've got uh, trade ships that have been recruited. What port? There they are. Coffee is not a very good commodity. Uh, spice is a lot better, but uh, ivory is the best one. But we had actually a um, a British navy being recruited from here, or it turned up from there. So we're gonna go ahead and raid that port, and then we're gonna move out. They have established some troops here. James Sterling's 42nd Highlander Watch. Um, British Veteran Foot. Some line infantry. Could see about get it. We should probably get a, a troop here. After we have pacified the Austrians, 
We probably should get a troop to set up so we can attack and take this uh, from the British because this um, obviously is very close to these trade routes that I want to control. And that's not very good. Um, so now we have movement. We have a single unit they've put forward. The spy is going to be important here. We're not moving on this, we're moving up here. So let's see what they have up here. Um, who's in charge? Zu Schwarzenberg. Karl Philipp von Schwarzenberg. And he's got um, quite a few regiments. Haubitzer. Our regiments. Let's have Marat go ahead and smite this little unit. It's a cannon! Why would they send a cannon like that, silly bastards? It cost him some cavalry, but um, that's uh, what you have to do sometimes. Right. Um, let's go ahead and raid this warehouse. And then they're going to go ahead and raid this market. To tear that shit up. And then Napoleon, seeing it's open, is going to march towards Prague. And Davo is going to control this point in the back. In case they decide to march an army from here, Napoleon is safe uh, from attack from the back. But we're beginning to get further and further away from the motherland. And then we've got our navy right here. The thing is, I want to push this navy out so I can attack it and possibly claim some of these ships. You can see that even though they are more ships, they don't actually have... There's only this ship that has 26 cannons. I'm not sure what they have here. But imagine that's another sloop, so um, even though they're more ships, they're worse ships. And let's combine these two forces. They can uh, come together here. And then we can march to attack Venice, which is quite heavily defended, actually. They've got Grenadiers, Grenzes, Hussars. Quite a lot of troops. Most importantly, they got two cannons there. But the cannons haven't really, now when I think about it, the cannons haven't really done that much throughout um, this. The enemy cannons haven't really done anything. We need to push the British Navy out of here. So let's recruit some... Um, a Guard National. We can have 60 of those. We'll have one just to march out and uh, reclaim the port. We have some units here. They oh, we actually have a guard national here. They can march up and claim the port. So the port is back in our hand, and we can repair it. And we're gonna have this squadron of cavalry. We have some troops here as well. We have two units of cavalry, or squadrons of cavalry. You know what? Let's just remove them. We're not gonna need them right now. The Guard National can stay, or the National Guard. Uh, they can stay. And then, what am I going to do? I have 4,000, I can recruit something. Or we can start to build this fort to protect this area when the Prussians attack. Which they, at some point, I believe they will. And then we have 500 left. And I'm not entirely sure how long this has been, but I do think the battles take go on for quite a bit. So I think we'll have one battle for each video. So we've got two battles sort of lined up. Well, actually, we've got one battle lined up. We don't have a battle here, but we do have a battle right here where these two forces will come together to attack uh, Venice and uh, strike them. So that will have to be for the next video. So, I hope you enjoy this, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!